welcome again to today's class on variation. This video will discuss the highest or the most important aspect of variation, that is partial variation. This is because questions on partial variation ends in simultaneous equation. So it doesn't end only in variation, but we extend to simultaneous equation. That means we must know all the ways, all the methods of solving a particular simultaneous equation. There are many ways of by which one can solve a particular simultaneous equation. We have substitution method, elimination method, graphical method, matrix method, determinant methods. There are many methods. The one you can handle, please handle it well so that you don't make mistake. Okay, let's go to the partial variation. Let's see what to do on that. Okay? We say the charges for electricity consumption. So we denote the charges as C is partly constant and partly varies. We now say C is partly constant equals to what? K. Partly constant means is equals to K. And partly varies plus because they say and you put plus partly varies directly as the number of units. Let's say the number of units is n. Partly varies as number of units. So since you have put a constant here, you need another constant for this varies directly. So let's say let the constants be k and uh, L or let's is be K and um, P. Okay? So the charges for electricity consumption is partly constant C equals to K. That is the mean of partly constant. And you put plus partly varies directly plus partly varies directly. We put another constant which is P varies directly as number of units n. Then they said the charge for 180 units, the charge for 180 units is 27. This is number of units and this is the charge. So what we say is 2700 is equal to K plus P bracket 180 units. You notice that there are two unknowns here. That means they'll give another information. Why the charge for 300 units is 3,100? It said 3,100 is equal to K plus P bracket what? 300. That means equation 1, equation 2. You need to get your word K and P. When you get K and P, you put it here to get your law or loop connecting C, C and P. So, solving them simultaneously, we said this is equation 1, it's equation 2. Equation 1 minus equation 2, so that K and K will minus. 2, 7 minus 3, 1 will give me minus 400 equals to k minus k will go okay this minus this will give me minus 120 p so minus will divide minus p will be equal to 400 over 120 4 here 10 4 here, 3. That means 10 over 3. Then, we have to get your care. To get your care, put P equal to 10 over 3 in equation 1 to get your what? K. Remember, I solved this simultaneously. This minus this minus 400. K minus K, 0. 180P minus 300p minus 120p and I now divide I have 0, 0, 
four there, ten, four here, three. That is ten over three. So I will now say 2,700 equal to K plus 10 over 3 times 1 is 3 here, 1, 3 here, 60. 60 times 10, 600. 2,700 equal to K plus what? 600. Okay? 3 here, 1, 3 here, 60. 600. So, K will be equal to 27 minus 600, that is 2,100. And P is equal to 10 over 3. Having gotten that, that means our relationship is equal to 2,100 plus P is what? 10 N over 3. That is the relationship or law or connection relating C and L. That is charges for electricity conduction and what number of units used. This is the relationship. That is this. Now, the question says calculate the charge that will be paid for 90 units. Charge that will be paid for 90 units is. 2,100 plus 10 times 90 all over 30. Because any is number of units. 3 here, 1, 3 here, 30. 30 times 300. 300 plus 2, 1. C is equal to 2,400 naira. That will be the charge. And that will be the final answer. That means most time it is elimination method that we use to solve the simultaneous equation we arrive at from what? Partial variation. So have it in your mind to use uh, elimination method to solve the simultaneous equation to make it easy or easier for you. Thank you for watching the video.